everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I've got another video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about Funko Pops. Specifically, uh, the Kree yon -Rog, and the Skrull Talos. And what they're going to mean for Captain Marvel. And what I think, what I think they're going to mean for Captain Marvel. The movie's not out yet. And thus, the jury's not out yet. So, a lot of mystery revolves around the actual role that these guys are going to play in the film. So, I wanted to show that to you guys um, so let's just jump right in. All right, so I have a couple of Funko Pops for you from the movie Captain Marvel. This is going to be a really, really cool film. And now I know a lot of people online are really excited. I'm gonna freaking love this one because of Talos and because of Yon Rong. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about, what the heck I'm talking about. I've got a couple of Funko Pops now. Because I had to color key, um, this is going to be a little bit different a little bit more difficult so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and transition into a new screen with not as cool of a background here you can see the green screen behind me I apologize for that but the reason for that is because I'm gonna first show off one of them which I'm really excited about I'm gonna get back to you guys but let me just go ahead and do this I haven't opened either of these Funko Pops the first one up is Talos now this is the one of the leaders of the scroll right so this is the character that Ben Mendelsohn is going to play and I cannot tell you guys how excited I am for this, uh, this not only this Funko Pop, I really like the Funko Pop, but for the scrolls and what it, what it means to me that we have the scrolls in this movie. Now you can see the back of the box here, a lot of cool characters, Captain Marvel, we have Goose the Cat, and then there's Vers, and I'll explain that in a, in a second as well. Nick Fury, Young, and we have Yon Rog, we have Maria Rambeau, and Talos. There we go. My hand's not super steady, guys. Sorry about that. But um, I'm really excited about this one. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just – I'm going to set this one down. I'll show you guys the next one. Then we'll start to unbox them, okay? So the next one up uh, – and you'll notice there's a lot of green on these boxes. That's why I had to turn off the um, the filter for this, this part of the the, um, the showing, the video. Yon Rog is going to be Jude Law's character. And the IMDb has confirmed this. Let me get my finger out of the way so you guys can see that image. There we go. Yon Rog. So you can see here, he's got his Star Force outfit on. It's like a, a team of Kree noble warrior heroes, <laughs> as Captain Marvel put it in the trailer. Again, this is the exact same back, so I'm not going to linger there too much, but just so you can see the art there. All right. These two guys are going to be enemies in the film. Um, it's going to be very, uh, very cool to see these two go at it at some point in the film. I'm really hoping that they go head to head and we get a chance to see them fight because it's going to be freaking epic. The scrolls are wicked strong. They are deceivers. They are shapeshifters and they are reptilian alien race. It's a really cool race of characters to have in your story. And I'm really pumped for that because the way that that ties in with so many very awesome character stories, arcs like Silver Surfer, Galactus, Fantastic Four, and also with Captain Marvel. So with Captain Marvel, then you also have characters like Jude Law's character who originally everyone thought was Captain Marvel. And it's very possible that they are going to do more of the, the Marvel, but Yon Rog is classically a villain in the Captain Marvel story. So... If you're going to tell that story, this leads me to, to my theory. And so I'm going to go ahead and switch back over and we'll event. And then by the end of this video, we will unbox the, the Funko Pop so you can get another look at these. So I'm going to switch back over. What I think is going to happen based on the marketing, they've been showing a lot of Carol Danvers with the Cree. They've made it very clear that she's a Cree. They've shown um, her training with Jude Law's character, which we know from the Funko Pop is Yon Rog. So... This character, they've been talking about the Kree as the race of noble warrior heroes. And you can see in the trailers that Sam Jackson's very skeptical. So with him, I think what they're doing is they're setting this thing up so that it's going to flip. She's been brainwashed and taught by the Kree that they are the noble ones. They're the, like this, the upper class. These guys are better than everyone else. And that everything that they're doing is just and righteous and there's no need to question them. And the scrolls are monsters because they're monsters and they're, they're liars because they're deceivers. But in reality, they're basically just trying to keep up with the Kree. The Kree are far superior in their technology and their technological advancement than the scrolls are. So 
they try their best to steal technology. Now, the secret invasion is probably what it's leading into because that's a major part of the Skrulls story is that they are shapeshifters. They come, they hide, they abduct people. And it's just a lot of fun. So uh, there's so many different avenues that they could go, not even just with, not even just following the comics, but taking the ideas of the comics and then translating them however they wish into the Marvel Universe so that we, the viewers, even the comic book fans have no idea what they're talking about. Um, that would be really, really fun. And I, I can't wait to see what they're gonna do here. But it makes me think that Talos is probably a neutral evil. He's probably a guy that's kind of a bad guy, but not an intentional bad guy and he's not an intentional enemy of captain marvel i think he probably was more or less an enemy of the kree and saw kree technology being used by humans on earth in that flight that you see captain marvel going on this is a lot to talk about here but i know that um you guys are probably as excited about captain marvel as i am if not more my prediction for the film is that talos is actually going to be a neutral evil and it's actually going to be uh jude law's character Yon Rog or Marvel, whichever he's playing, is actually going to be kind of more of um, a betrayal arc. And it's going to be basically that he is the actual bad guy, that the Kree are the bad guys, and that the Skrulls are kind of either defending themselves or just trying to survive, really. And so with that, I think that it's going to be a huge surprise. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition into the next screen. That way we can unbox these Funko Pops and again forgive me that I won't be able to uh, green screen away and uh, cut to awesome images like the one behind me of Jula's character and then Ben Mendelsohn's character. Now let's start with Talos all right so I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up. One thing that I've always really really liked about the Skrulls is that the Skrulls they kind of have a uh, more of a fantasy feeling. Like it, it is sci-fi but it feels very fantasy and so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out. Oh dude this is sick. And he is, in fact, a bobblehead, so he's, he's going to bobble around. Oh, I love this one. After I see the movie, I might decide to just keep this guy on my desk like the Prowler. Um, so let's just go ahead and what I'm going to do is pull up the image here. Talos, that way you can see him. You see the detail there on the head? So I'm going to go ahead and show you right here. It goes all the way over to the back. It's really cool. Um, it's it's a really nice um, kind of a pastel purple. It's not. It's about as. It's the same thing as you see on the image in front of you, but it's just really. It's a really cool color, and it gives it more of a fleshy tone. Even though it's an alien tone, um, it, it kind of adds like a semblance of realism uh, that could only be found or believed in a movie of this um, this level of fiction. <laughs> Which is, it's like, it's a funny thing to say or think about, but it's pretty cool. I really like the the robe that he has, like the, it's it's an armor robe, but it kind of shows that he's someone of a high position. It's He's not just a grunt. And, uh, you know, I, I freaking love Ben Mendelsohn. I loved him in Rogue One. Um, I love the ears on this thing. It's a very simple Funko Pop, really. Uh, but it's got the chin, you know, it's got like the ribbed, like Thanos level chin. Except for Thanos, uh, Thanos is kind of scrolling with his chin. The scrolls, I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, came first. I love this pop. It's simple, but it's nice. It's clean. It's elegant. I really enjoy this one. Um, the feet are kind of big. There's no stand for this one. I forgot to show you guys that. The feet are kind of big. Not not a good amount of stand, though. Um, although it does kind of hold its balance, kind of pushing it around a little bit, and it's able to keep its keep its balance, so that's good. So if you've got a little bit of a wobbly desk, it shouldn't be that big a deal. I'm gonna go ahead and close this guy up. All right, and so the next one we're gonna be unboxing right now is Jan Rog. I pulled the image up so that you can take a better look at him with a little bit more accurate color. I know that when I, uh, if I don't balance it correctly, you're not gonna get a, a really great representation. This one's really, really cool. So check this out. Look at this guy. Look at this homie. I love that, check this out. So he's got awesome detail on the helmet, really cool detail on the on the body armor. You can see the Star Force symbol on his chest, which is essentially the same symbol that Captain Marvel um, uses and and shows off on her on her actual costume. So he's got his sidearms right there. He's got a, a gun on this side. You can see the in the little holster right there. See that? And then also on this side. He has a knife or a blade of some sort. I don't know if you can see that right there. 
You see that on his hip? There you go. So it's super cool. I really like this one. And then the top has that giant fin that goes over the head. So let me give you guys a good, a good look. There you go. Perfect. Excellent. And I love the, the visor, but you'll notice that his eyes are different than Talos. So again, let me show you Talos and let me show you Yon Rog. Yon Rog's eyes are in an angered position, whereas Talos has angry eyebrows. So the eyebrows of Talos are angry. He looks upset, but his eyes are big and wide, whereas this guy, you'll notice that the PNG for Yon Rog, it just says Star Commander, but the actual box says Yon Rog. So online, the image that I was able to pull for this one was deceitful. It says Star Commander. That's not what it actually says. Even the side of the box says Yon Rog. You see that? The marketing is deceitful. And I think that's really, really important. So if we're talking about, you know, a story arc with deceivers and liars and brainwashing and amnesia and we're talking about Captain Marvel not remembering who she is or where she comes from or even how she got the powers, maybe even why she serves with the Kree. That's that's very important. And then especially if the supposed enemy that they've been marketing through the trailers is the scrolls, the scrolls are the bad guys, scrolls are the bad guys, then I think that this storyline is actually going to be about her discovering that the scrolls are not inherently evil and that the Kree are actually greatly at fault and that she has to pick a side. And by the end of it, she's going to end up becoming a lone wolf by herself because she's not really joining with this with the, the scrolls, even though she might have to, in the, in the end, team up with them in order to just simply save them from the Kree. So I think this is going to be really cool. Now, I have I really like both of these Funko Pops. Um, I really love Jude Law as an actor. I love Ben Mendelsohn. I think they're great. Um, I can't wait to see these because even if Talos really is the bad guy, if he's like the main bad guy and the scrolls are essentially just the typical bad guys you would expect them to be, it's still gonna be a good film. I'm pretty sure. Now, time will tell, of course. However, I really love the scrolls and they're so important. The, the story of Silver Surfer kicks off in the animated TV series from the early 90s with uh, Zen Law, you know, introducing Zen Law, the Watchers introducing him. And then once the Watcher introduces Zen Law, you get to see the Skrull and the Kree come to Zen Law, a place of total peace and harmony that's achieved world peace. That's one of the cool things about Zen Law is that in this hypothetical fictional world, they were able to finally find a way to coexist peacefully with one another. Um, despite everyone's differences, which is highly unlikely, but in a fantasy world, that's what makes it so important, so great. One person deserts the Kree and one person deserts the Skrulls and they decide, you know what, we wanna seek peace. They come together and they still have trouble finding peace, but Norrin Rad helps them and the Master helps them and then Galactus starts to come and he then is gonna devour the world that, the only world in the universe that had found world peace. And that's something that was a motivating factor for the Silver Surfer to offer himself up to Galactus as his herald to lead him away from inhabited worlds. You know what I mean? So the Kree and the Scroll are pivotal in a lot of storylines and they're used in a lot of the major team ups, Secret Invasion, the Kree Scroll War and Captain Marvel and Silver Surfer and lots of other space adventures you run into these characters. They're like staples for the Marvel Universe. So it's really important that they're being introduced right here, right now. And I'm really excited about that. So I'll give you guys another look at what it says here on the on the image is Star Commander, which is not wrong, but that's not the actual name. You're not even gonna really be able to read this because of the green screen, but it's Yon Rog. Yon Rog. On the image I'm showing right now, it says Star Commander, but that's not accurate. It's actually Yon Rog. And even on IMDB, he's listed as Yon Rog. Um, Nick Fury is still Nick Fury. Carol Danvers is Carol Danvers. Ben Mendelsohn's Talos. Gemma Chan is Dr. Min Irva. And then also Lee Pace as Ronan again. He's coming back. Same with Jaimon Hansu as Korath. And then also Clark Gregg as Phil Coulson. A lot of characters that we already know coming back for this story. I'm really excited about it. Everyone, thank you so much for watching this Funko Pop video. Did a little bit of an unboxing for you guys. I can't tell you how excited I am for Ben Mendelsohn specifically to play Talos 
and also for Jude Law to find out what they're going to do with his character. Are they going to lean more into him being Captain Marvel, or are they going to show that side where he plays Yon Rog more of a villain role? And then how is that going to play out in the relationship with Carol? How is that going to play out in the relationship with Talos and the Skrulls? I can't wait to see this. It's going to be epic. I'm so excited. And if you guys are as big a fan of like the Silver Surfer as I am, this has a lot of potential, especially with the Disney Fox deal closing very, very soon. The word on the deal was that the first four months of 2019 was all it was going to take for the deal to close. And we're getting close. So we're coming up on the end of month two. So either next month or the following, we will have that deal officially closed. And then Kevin Feige can start to actually talk about what he, his ideas and plans are for X-Men. But there's another there's another caveat there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, leave that for now. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to share it with a friend you know likes Funko Pops or likes Captain Marvel. Either one will do. Also, subscribe if you haven't and turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you guys won't miss a thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.